Good afternoon, everybody. This is Donnie with Standing Goats Rescue. And today, uh, we've got a little a different product I'm doing a review on, and I was wanting to share it with all of you. I do not have the unboxing video where I actually unboxed it and, uh, and installed this unit. I lost that footage when my video editor crashed and I've got it installed already so I cannot go back and redo it but this is the unit that we're looking at today this is the Lamto CarPlay it's a smart screen CarPlay and I'm going to show you guys this unit you have an 8 inch display on it and it is touch screen and uh, it does come it comes with a your instruction manual the owner's manual and it, it's in multiple different languages you've got different type mounts for this unit this particular mount here here you peel the paper off it is a sticky back you can stick it to your dash uh, you can stick it anywhere that's got a a good surface to stick to as long as you don't have any uh, any type of oils on it it's got a it's a pretty strong <laughs> adhesion on it i did test it out they do send this little tool right here this is for the install when you're installing it it has a reverse camera the camera goes on the back of your vehicle and you use this to tuck your wire in around your windows the trim up here at your ceiling next to the door this unit here you stick it in there it's plastic so it's not going to tear your car up and you just fold that trim back and you tuck the wire in. It's very simple. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, this thing also comes with, you've got, a, this is another uh, sticky mount, the dash mount part. This is uh, another one. You get a second one. But it has an auxiliary jack. This is a 3.5 millimeter headphone style jack on it to where you could plug this unit directly into your vehicle's stereo system um, you can listen to music you can use your bluetooth it has carplay uh, it's got the both of android and apple are compatible with this device you can connect your phone straight to it uh, you can play music from your phone and if you have it connected to your vehicle's stereo system the music that you choose on your phone on your device will be wirelessly through Bluetooth sent into the Lamto uh, smart screen, your CarPlay, and then it'll come out of your vehicle speakers and you can listen to it that way. But I'm going to take the camera down. I want to show you just some of the functions on it. I can't play music for you um, for a couple of reasons. One of them is due to YouTube's policy, they will get you with a copyright. And so uh, the other one is I have no music on my phone at all. The stereo in my vehicle, this is a very old vehicle. It has no auxiliary plug to plug the that auxiliary wire into. And it has no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. Uh, this vehicle is a 1999 and uh, it just it doesn't have any way to connect it to the stereo system. But let me take the camera and move it. I want to show you some of the features of this Lamto CarPlay. All right, this is your unit here. I do have it paired with my phone, which is right here. And um, guys, I'm in a work vehicle. So yes, there's tools. There's all kinds of junk in here. So forgive the mess. But I've got an old style stereo. There is no way to connect the smart play to my stereo. I mean, this still has a cassette player in it and it still works believe it or not but um but anyhow this unit right now I have it paired to my phone and in the event if you're traveling instead of using your phone you can use this you can pull your maps up now it's linked to my phone it's pulling the maps up through the phone and so you can make calls receive calls through it you can play music all all the features i mean it's pretty much a, the features on your phone are available right here and it just gives you a hand-free 
way to uh, when you're traveling listening to music to accept calls and you can receive text messages you will get an alert it uh, it will try to prevent you from texting at all when you're driving which nobody should be texting anyway if you're behind the wheel but uh, just to give you an idea and I, and I want to show you it does have a built-in speaker so uh, since I cannot connect it to my stereo if I wanted to play music or listen uh, to a video of any type the sound is coming out of this and my truck is very loud you cannot hear it due to my loud exhaust and just it, it's a work truck but I put it in here to show you all how it works and yes it does work it does work quite well and it's see like right here it's showing me that's the battery level for my phone that's not the battery level for this this is plugged into my cigarette lighter my 12 volt accessory plug right there that is the plug for this I've got the wire that's connected to it does have a reverse camera and I'm going to show that to you the wires plugged in here I've got it running up behind the blind and then I tucked it in right here and it goes all the way to the back of the truck and then it comes out at the underside of the passenger door and it's very simple I'm gonna we'll go out back in a minute and I'll explain to you the connection process it's very very simple anyone can do it as long as you can turn a screwdriver um, it's pretty much self-explanatory very simple but um, here I'll show you I'm gonna call my phone's right here let me move it up here so you guys can see I can get it all on one screen now when I call that is iPhone when I call the iPhone this is gonna respond to me hey Siri uh-huh what time is it it's 3 12 p.m. okay thank you all right uh, that's because I have it connected now you ha there's an Android play for this for Android phones and there's an Apple play you got have the Apple CarPlay the Apple uh, AirPlay this has been just absolutely amazing uh, I I was going to show you guys the calendar but it's in my phone it's a lot of personal information is in my calendar I'm not putting that on the internet but all of these that you're seeing right here this is apps in my phone now if I wanted to listen to music I'd hit this right here see you get the warning when you're not driving open music on your iPhone and review the privacy information I have no music on my um, on my phone at all I just I, I have none I don't listen to music but you can listen to or watch podcast with it and you can mirror your iPhone will mirror and your Android you can mirror them to this to be able to watch videos the map feature is something that uh, I have used I do use on it but the main one for me because I mean you see the length of my vehicle I am in a Suburban a 1999 Chevrolet Suburban I have a hard time backing up if I'm trying to connect to a trailer I've got a broken mirror right here that mirror over there doesn't adjust at all so when I'm backing up I want to show you um, let me see if it'll do it without well it's gonna it's gonna be whistling if I don't crank it sorry about the loud beeping you guys this is a worn out beat up truck all right now it's on the screen for my phone but when I put it in reverse I'll back up back away a little bit boom there's my backup camera and it shows you your lines your lane lines so that you can back into a parking spot and be accurate when you're backing up and that right there I absolutely love and I do use that regularly when you put it back in park it comes out of out of the reverse camera mode this is for, for those of you that are looking to be hands-free to get a little more technology and be able to to drive around and talk to your screen and as you can see it is bigger than my phone that's a it, it's a big screen it is touch screen everything on here I can access my text messages which I'm not gonna pull that up 
because there's private information. Uh, let's see, now plan. I don't think there's anything on it, but let's try. Okay, yeah, I have nothing on it to play. I don't, let me see if I can find something that I can play. I don't even know where my music thing is in here. I don't think it's going to allow me. I, I don't have a signal out here. I'm just, I'm trying to find something that has sound just to where I can, I can show this to you. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do it. You guys, I'm sorry. But it, if you listen to music, it's very simple. Whatever songs you have stored in your phone, once you connect it to the Lamto, this CarPlay, this smart screen, it'll play your music. And when you pair this with your radio, whether it's through the included jack, that the wire that they give you, whether you're using this wire right here to plug it directly into your stereo, or you're connecting it wirelessly through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, then whenever you play the music that you have stored on your phone, it will come through your vehicle's speaker system. You can control, once you're playing music and you have something on it, you can control your volume from this. It is, this whole screen is digital, it's all touch screen. There's the map, let's go back. Um, go back to the smart screen and there's your Apple CarPlay, that's what I'm connected to right now. There's your Android Auto, for those of you that are with Android. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Apple AirPlay, Android Cast, then your audio output, there's your settings, there's your Bluetooth music. Now, I wish I had music to show you, but I do not listen to music, and so I have nothing. I apologize for that. But everything works on it, and it's self-explanatory. With I'm just sitting here. Um, here, I'll pull the keys out and show you. The keys are out of the ignition. Steering wheel is locked. I mean, it's you can't do anything. But I've got it plugged into a 12-volt accessory plug that is hot all the time, so it has power on it. And if I'm laying here nodding off, and I, somebody's pulling up behind me in a parking spot, I can hit that right there and go straight to the backup camera and it's not showing me the lines on it because I'm not cranked up I'm not I don't have it in reverse now when I'm driving down the road and I'm pulling the trailer I do turn this camera on just like what you see so that I can keep an eye on where the trailer is connected to my truck on the trailer ball and if for some reason you can't see it there is your brightness level you can dim it for nighttime use you can increase it for daytime Here's your volume right there. You can control your volume up and down. And of course, your home button. Apple CarPlay, that's what I'm connected to right now. And let's see, let me see if I can find, I just wanna show you guys. Let me find a some music, just a sample clip of something. Uh, I've never, looked up any music so I don't know where that where it's at but give me just a second we're gonna play something on it all right you guys I got one uh, I can only play a part of it because I don't want to get in trouble with a copyright strike just to give you an example here and it's playing through this it's playing through that device now I can pull it up on my phone right here let me figure out where they put it right there M Muse. all right I'm using a different app now if I hit play on this it's going to it's playing it up here so, anyway just to give you an idea um, 
but you can control uh, there's the actual video for this particular song and it's showing you it tells you which app it's playing I mean the, there's a this little thing right here is loaded there's so much information here's your volume control you know if you want to turn it up or down um, everything's right here you can go home with your home button and again I am right now I'm on Apple CarPlay now your AirPlay I have to see it says Apple CarPlay Oop. I'm trying to do this and hold a camera at the same time all right now let's connect it to Apple AirPlay it has to disconnect the um, let me turn all this on all right that's disconnected now I have to turn the Wi-Fi all right you guys right now I am on the phone let's go to sorry I'm trying to do this one-handed gotta go up to the music that's coming out of my phone so I want to connect it let's go back to the switch to Apple CarPlay mode confirm now it is going to connect uh, to my phone and then I can I can control the music from my phone but it's going to play out of this it's not going to play from the uh, actual phone let's get it to, if I can get it to connect and then disconnected it we've got to oh it's not paired again <clears throat> I keep unpairing it and reconnect it again there we go I just had to go into the Bluetooth and connect it now it's got me on CarPlay so now I'm reconnected there it is right here now I'll go back to the now playing I wonder if it's going to show up in the music and dismiss that yeah it's still playing and that'll be playing here okay yes yeah, playing up here it's not playing on my phone but I can control it on my I can have <clears throat> I can hit play on my phone and it's going to be coming out up here now let me get out I want to show you where uh, how I mounted the the camera on this and explained that connection it's very simple all right you guys here is the camera I'm trying to prevent uh, this is the actual camera for the Lamto smart screen this right here this is the camera let me show you how I got it ran excuse the mess this is a work vehicle all right I drilled a hole right here this is where I mounted the bracket the brackets are supplied you do have them there's another bracket in here also for mounting it uh, if you want to mount it on your windshield on the inside of your vehicle your car there's the wire it runs across up here there's two wires now they provided they are together you have the long black one that has the plug at one end the camera is on the the opposite end and then there's a small you see the red wire it's uh, three or four foot long it's connected to this end of it now this wire goes into my tail light I just run it through a little hole right here you pull the tail light out in your reverse wire that is the wire that goes here to the white light that reverse wire there's a little clip a little blue clip like they use on trailers you stick it around your reverse wire the little red wire there's two slots in that little clip one slot will have your reverse wire the one that's on your light will fit inside of that clip this little red wire will go on the other side inside of the clip in one of the two slots and then you squeeze it together with pliers and it's connected I've got the wire tucked in behind the plastic right here and then I come out you see it I just looped it I just hung it and then up there I tucked it in it is not a permanent attachment 
I only attached it for this review to show you guys that little camera and it, it it's tiny it's really little but I have it set so when I back up my trailer to hook up to this ball I don't have to back up five or six times I back up one time and I'll line up perfectly on it because this older vehicle it doesn't come with any type of reverse camera now guys I have the link for this smart screen and uh, as you can see the in the advertisement right there it is connected to the windshield with the the mount that they provide they provide everything you need to connect this you don't need to purchase anything extra at all everything is here all right there's the mount right here that you can you can throw up on your dash you can set it you know, just you peel that paper off and it's got that sticky that sticker on it you could stick it right there in front of your wheel you could attach it wherever you want it to and then of course it'll lock on these little prongs there's your little screw you can change the angle that you know whichever way you got it set and then you tighten that screw down and it's not going to move there's an extra little sticker backing for this flip it over where you guys can see it does line up right there see that's what that is that's you got an extra one here's your little tool this is for putting a wire in this little tool you just stick it right here behind your the plastic and you can stuff your uh stuff the wire in behind the plastics with it that's all that's for a little upholstery tool here is, you got two screws for mounting the little camera. This red piece, red on one side, white on the other. This is a sticker. You peel one side, you stick it on the back of the camera bracket, and then you peel this other side and you can attach your camera on your back window on the inside of your vehicle. It does not have to go on the outside. I chose to, to mount it there. I wish I wouldn't have lost all the footage, the unboxing. I would have loved to have seen everything. But there's, uh, you got your warranty information, warranty card right there. That's how you activate it, and it is a two-year warranty. But everything you need to attach the Lamto CarPlay, the smart screen, to your vehicle, everything is included in this box. The instructions are very easy to follow. I am not technologically advanced in any way. Um, I know absolutely nothing about technology. I don't listen to music. That's why I don't have any music to show you. And uh, I had to use that uh, Sam, Sam Hunt music. That was the first one that popped up. So uh, I just did it just to show you guys. But... You know, all, all your information is here, and you can mirror your phone to this if you have an Android device. And uh, now I did mirror it before. I'm just, I have issues trying to learn this stuff. Technology confuses me tremendously. But I did have my phone connected to the smart screen, and I did watch several YouTube videos on this screen. Now, the only downside, if you have an old vehicle, like what I have right here, is the sound comes out of the speakers on this, okay? And uh, it's equivalent to the sound that comes out of my phone. If I were to hit play on my phone, it's, the sound of this is about the same volume as what comes out of your phone. It's not very loud, but the idea behind this is to connect it to your automobile stereo system. If you have an auxiliary plug, you could take that provided wire that they have included right there. You could plug it in to, to your auxiliary port on the bottom of your smart screen and plug it into your auxiliary outlet for your stereo system. And you can play whatever music from your phone. You can play it through your car's audio through this. It's actually a, a, it's a really cool setup. Now, I've had it mounted on my windshield right here for the better part of two months. It has been in sunlight. I do not have a carport or a garage. It has been exposed to sunlight every day of the week since it's been mounted. And it's still holding. 
this bumpy road you guys see where we live we are out in the country the road is horrible coming back here that we have to drive down nine and a half miles of dirt road and stuff falls off the dash I got stuff hitting the floor all in my vehicle that has never fell not one time it holds very well very strong setup that they have now my final thoughts on this um, I do like it but it has so many features a lot of that stuff confuses me and I don't understand it so for me personally the backup camera and using the map on that is a winner I love it and that's the reason we've left it up I didn't take it down after I done the original filming for this review that's the reason I still leave it up I don't listen to my stereo at all I don't listen to music due to an accident that I had I received a brain injury and music just um, for me personally I do not enjoy it it does cause me issues with anxiety so I just don't listen to anything aloud but uh but anyhow this thing does work it does connect to your stereo system um, the older vehicle like mine it's not going to connect I do not have there's no way to plug in any auxiliary I, I cannot connect this to it at all it's just not possible but most of you that are watching this review have a newer vehicle or you have uh, uh, better equipped vehicles that do have the accessory ports that you could plug in something like this or you have the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi setup where you can do it wirelessly this will connect wirelessly to your vehicles uh, stereo system especially if you have a newer vehicle it'll connect to probably everything out there if I were to guess, I would say around uh, 2004, 2005, up till present day. Uh, that's just a wild guess. But anyhow, just trying to give you an idea. As far as me personally, my thoughts on it, I do like it. I love the reverse camera. I'm able to hook up to my trailer first try. I don't have to keep getting out, checking it, pulling forward and backing up because it takes me on average about five times to get it to where I can lower my trailer. Um, I have an equipment trailer and when the tractor is on it, you can't move it by hand at all. You have to back up and be exact. And without a backup camera, it's, it's impossible to do it first try. But anyhow, everything you see on here, this is all apps, uh, features of my phone that's what's showing up and yes I can make a call from it if um, I don't want to make a phone call right now because then I will be stuck on the phone and only I don't have anyone that I can call everybody's working right now but any anyhow to call you hit the button right there and uh, you can pull up favorites um, <clears throat> you can just pull up whoever you want to call the settings now settings that you're seeing right now right here that's not the settings for the Lamto smart screen that's settings for my phone so if you connect your phone to to this device and you go into this settings mode to change something you are changing the settings in your phone so remember that it does have its own settings you have to go right here smart screen there's the settings for the device for this device and you can change um, it's got tones as you can see reminder tone screensaver there's your image mirror you could flip the the image that's your backup camera if you're backing up and everything looks backwards you can flip it to where it's correct there's how you calibrate the two lines when the vehicle's running you put it in reverse and it shows you the two lines so that you can back up straight into a parking spot. You can calibrate it if it's off. You can set your driving position depending on what country you're in, whether you drive from the left or right hand side of the road. Um, then again, your languages, you can reset this unit and there's uh, your firmware version. Um, what else do we got? I think that is about it. Yeah, I believe 
I believe that's about all I can show you on it. In my opinion, I think it's a really nice unit. And it does not feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a piece of garbage. Yes, it does bounce, but it's just because it's suction cup attached. No, it will not fall. It never has fell. And uh, it gets beat up pretty good going down our road here. But uh, price-wise, is it worth it? For me, all I'm doing is using it as a rear-view mirror. I'm using the camera on the back for connecting my trailer and then keeping an eye on that connection when we're going down the road you know as I'm traveling I'm pulling the trailer I just hit that button right there and I keep the camera running constantly so that I can see if something goes crazy or awry with my trailer I can see it happen in real time and uh, that alone is worth it to me but for those of you that uh, especially if you're living in a state where they are very hard on the hands-free you know, driving down the road and uh, being on your phone will get you in serious trouble. This is uh, this is a necessity if you're not using some type of wireless earbuds. This would be the way to go. But now, if you have it connected to your car's audio system and you do get a phone call, everybody in your vehicle is going to hear your conversation because it's going to come out of the speakers. But it's a, it's an amazing setup. The technology in this. This smart screen is far beyond my capabilities. <laughs> and you see right there, voice control. Yes, you can set this up to where you don't have to touch it at all. You can tell it what you want it to do. And you can see where it connected. My phone's right here. But I can, um, I can tell my phone which uh, with Apple we use the Siri voice and if I, I call out um, and everything comes through this I can make a phone call right now just by coming through this and I, I should be disconnected from it right now let me make sure hey Siri what time is it it's 3 45 p.m. okay I'm still connected Uh, I don't know a phone number that I can call just to give you a sample. Uh, let, I know what I, I will call a pharmacy. Hey Siri, call Publix Pharmacy. Calling Publix Home. Well, go to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please hang up and redial the Okay. I think that number is disconnected. We'll try uh, Walgreens. Hey Siri, call Walgreens. Calling Walgreens Haven work. Hi, thanks for calling Walgreens at the southwest corner of Ohio Highway 77 and 14th in Lynn Haven. There you go. Para continuar en español, and yes. Prima nueve. Your keypad Just does work. You know, CDC now what? recommends an additional dose of the COVID vaccine for patients 65 years and older, four months after your last dose. For more information, please visit Walgreens.com. Okay, we'll, we'll end it. And anyway, you, you got the gist of it. This is your hands-free device. And if you're looking to go hands-free, yes, I, I would recommend getting something like this. This one right here, if you look in the description below this video, I will have the link for this particular unit in the description below it is um it is pretty big as far as the screen it's not huge you can see my rear view mirror this is a large rear view mirror it does have the the digital thermostat and the, all that mess on it but anyway the this uh i don't know what to compare it to this is the iphone 14 max this is the big iphone 14 the biggest one they got and i will line it up end to end you can see it is bigger than the iphone 14 max it's a big unit and uh, i do believe it is worth the money for me alone just the the backup camera is worth it 
Uh, just that alone, and, and that's for me personally, but that is um, the backup camera I, I absolutely love, and I do use that constantly. I'm always using that. There we go. And as you back up, you can see the the lines that keep you straight if you need to be lined up with something as you're reversing. I do use the reverse camera and I use it often. And it's I, I know you guys can't tell on here. I don't know if I if it's going to allow me. I just put it back in drive. So let me put it back in reverse. I don't know if you can tell how clear there is a glare on it. You guys, I'm filming a screen with my camera, and so it's it's going to glare. I apologize for that. But you can see the blades of grass moving from the wind right here. The screen is very clear. It's very bright. It's very easy to see. It is uh, 3.51 p.m., and I'm in Florida. It's very bright out here. Very bright sunlight. And that screen is very visible. It looks kind of odd looking at it through the through the camera lens. See, once I put it back in drive, the screen turns back off. But yes, would I recommend it um, to anyone? Yeah, yep. Yeah, I certainly would, absolutely. Is it something that I would go out and purchase to put in all of our vehicles if we had more vehicles? Um, probably not. I would put one in my wife's car for sure. You know, but uh, as far as having them in all of our vehicles, if we had multiple vehicles, uh, I probably would not. I would have one in whichever vehicle we drove daily, and I would have one in whatever vehicle that we traveled with. The map on this, using the, the map which is connected to my phone, it is the Apple version maps, the iMap, whatever, it, whatever it's called. But if you have Android, it'll be your Google Maps. It will come up on your screen, and it is touch screen, so you can control your map from here. You don't have to go to your phone. You can use this. This is touch screen. It's very, um, very interactive. There's no problems with it not recognizing your touch. When you touch it, it responds. They've done a really good job on that. Let me get this tape measure up, and I will show you. If I can reach it, I'll show you the actual width of it. Uh, now, when they measure screens, phone screens, tablets, anything, they measure this way. I mean, widen this up a little bit more. They measure it diagonal. So this would be an 8-inch screen. Okay? If you measure this way, it's showing 7.5. But, they were 7.5 by about 3 and a quarter. It is good sized. Everything you need to mount this car play in your vehicle is included in the box. When you order it, everything comes together. And I will leave the link for this Lamto Smart screen, the car play. I will leave the link for this in the description below this video. There is the user manual for the car play. And it is in multiple different languages. I don't well, there you go. It's in uh, English. I'm not sure if that's Mandarin or what that is, but uh, Dutch, French, Italian, Spanish. It's in multiple different languages. And if you need, if you need to contact them about any questions at all with this device or any other, they have multiple. Uh, pieces of technology that they sell dash cameras they got the, the dash cameras that have forward and rear facing lenses they've got everything but you can contact them right there at their email which is dc at umail.com that is dc at y o o o m a i l dot com and they're very good they have a good service department customer service they're really quick to get back to you there's a ton of information 
that they give you in this in this thing the majority of the stuff in here I am not familiar with I don't use a lot of this stuff because I basically I just don't understand it but it's very simple they give you a layout that shows you you know connecting it it's it's very simple you have the camera it's got one wire and then at the end of it it's got that little pigtail sticking out and the pigtail connects uh, to your reverse light and then the the little AV out right there that you see that's right here that's connected right there very simple I don't know if you can see it real well it's small it's this one right here but the links will be in the description below and um, whatever discount code that they'll provide for you I will also have that in the description please check them out go to the website look and see what they got and um, you know if this may not be for you but you will probably find something that they're offering now that is what you need so so please check them out they're good people easy to deal with very patient uh, they've been patient with me and I've had this for a couple of months now and between time and surgeries and then trying to just understand technology altogether it's taking me a while so I'm late in getting this one out. They were on time getting it to me. I'm just slow at getting getting it out. But it's here. I want to thank you guys. Thank you, Lamto, and all of you that were involved with getting this over to me and to run a test on. And if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to reach out toward, to me. Or you can email Lamto at the email address I just showed you. I just called out. Hopefully uh, you heard that one. But I'll see you guys soon. Y'all have an amazing day. God bless you. Be safe, be kind, and be well, and I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.